Okay, so I have my HDR image here, and the first thing I'm going to do is apply one of my presets. I know this one works pretty good. Uh, just basically brings up the shadows, brings down the highlights. Now I'm going to increase the exposure quite a bit. Right about there. Uh, I think it's looking a little warm, so I'll bring down the temperature just a bit. And now the main thing to do is to correct this overexposed window. So I'm going to hold control shift, draw a rectangle over the window to zoom in. And I'm going to get out my brush. Uh, I'm bringing the exposure down a little bit, but I'm also increasing the temperature, dehaze slider, and the saturation just to make the outside look a little bit more uh, actual, realistic. So I'm just going to draw over very simply the whole window I'm not worried about staying within the lines and we're going to get it perfect by using the erase brush and we're going to be using a trick to make all this a lot easier and that is by clicking once on the erase brush holding down shift and clicking again and Lightroom draws you perfectly straight lines along any edge of the photo where you want to erase. You can also use this just with the regular brush and not erasing. Another thing it does is changes the width of the brush over the course of your line. So say if I click once here with a very small brush, I can go over here, increase the size of the brush, hold shift and click again and it changes the width of the brush over the course of the line that you drew. So that's the tool that we're going to use to make the erasing part of this much easier. So we can see it in action here by clicking once at the edge of the bottom over there, holding shift, clicking again, and we just drew a perfect straight line. Do it here for the vertical, hold shift, click again, perfect line. The width of the window over here is one size on this side of the room and then it gets smaller as we get further away from the camera on this side of the room. So what we can do is click once with this size, go over here, decrease the size of the brush, hold shift and click again. And now we have a perfect erase brush across that distance. So now we're done. And I think this method is a lot easier than bringing your photos in and out of Photoshop. The key is going to be to make sure that when you're at the house, you captured an exposure that was dark enough to give you all the detail you needed on the other side of this window. So when you're reviewing your photos, make sure that your darkest exposure is properly exposed for the outside.